Hey guys, this is Dave the Software Dev again. Today we're going to be looking at tooltips in Twitter Bootstrap. To use tooltips, you'll need the CSS for Bootstrap. I'm also including jQuery here, and we're going to be using the Bootstrap JavaScript as well. Let's just dive right in. I'm going to create a simple anchor tag. I'm going to put a title on it. So this will be my anchor. I'm just going to say, hello world. Let's save that and take a look at it. Close my paragraph. So here's my hello world tag. If I hover over it long enough, I'll get the, the title there showing as a tooltip. But that's really a function of my web browser. That's not Bootstrap doing that. Let's uh, use the Bootstrap tooltips. So in order to use these tooltips, I'm going to put a class on here because Bootstrap uh, tooltips are opt-in, which means you have to uh, call a JavaScript function with a selector to uh, just determine which ones you want to show the tooltip. I'm going to put some uh, data tags on it as well. So here I've completed my anchor tag. I've added a data toggle of tooltip to tell Bootstrap that I want this to toggle tooltips. I've also got a data placement uh, attribute on here saying that I want my tooltip to appear to the right of this tag. So let's add some JavaScript now that will actually make that happen. And here's our completed JavaScript. All I've done is I've added a uh, document ready call that's going to run the tooltip function for all uh, items which have the class of tip, all elements that have that class of tip. So let's take a look at it now. If I go and I refresh my page, when I hover over it, I get a nice looking tooltip there coming from Bootstrap. There's also no delay there. It just shows my anchor. So let's add one now which uh, shows up on a click. So here I've added a second anchor tag in a new paragraph, and I've added a data trigger attribute of click. I've also uh, changed the actual tooltip that will display to say my anchor 2 as opposed to my anchor. I don't have to do that, but that's just to differentiate between the two of them. So let's save this. Refresh my page. I've now got two anchor tags. This one shows up on hover. This one doesn't do anything until I actually click on it, and it stays up until I click again. So that one's triggered by clicks. So I hope this video showed you how easy it is to use uh, tooltips in Bootstrap. You can place them around different uh, areas of your tags. You can also control them either on hover or on click. Thanks, and if this video helped, just like and favorite and subscribe.